I got a drill for you because I will need your help. What's up guys, this is Monique and welcome back to the channel. I am finally, finally, finally about to fix my master bathroom. We have been living in this home for almost a year and I have done absolutely nothing to this thing. So we are about to turn this bedroom into like a spa oasis, just a magical destination for us. I didn't put on my Bob the Builder hat. I really feel like I'm gonna do some hard work with this. That's why I grabbed it and guess what? Hold up, hold up. Ooh. Bam! I got a drill for you because I will need your help. I bought a lot of different options and I don't know what to go with so I'm going to be showing you guys a lot of stuff and I just need y'all to help me out. Like I don't know about you but my bathroom for me is like my resting place. It's my favorite place in the whole house. I'm going to need you guys help in decorating this but first if you are new here make sure you join the family hit that subscribe button because here we go everywhere in life together and all we do is win enough of that let me show y'all how this bathroom look all right guys so this is what we are starting with So when I tell you we had nothing in here, I really meant we had nothing in here. So we're going to start over here at the bathtub. As you can see, I'm going to start first with putting a picture up here. So I have two options. This is the first thing I'm gonna need your help with. So the first option is this, and it has plastic on it, that's why it looks like that. But it's this little spa type of photo. This is how it looks. Let me back up a little bit so y'all can kind of get a feel for it. Um, I don't like it because it's a little too small and then it's not really giving me the feel that I want although I want like the spa type of bathroom I don't think this is necessarily it this is the other option that we have to go over here I think I like this one a little better guys what do you think comment below and tell me spa if you like the spa photo or flower if you like the flower one let me back up a little bit so this is what it'll kind of look like a little further back. I think I'm feeling this one, so I'm gonna hang that one up. So here, take your drill, here you go. And I have mine. Let's get to work. All right guys, so we got it up. What do you think? Did I make the right choice? Let me let you see how it looks. You see that? So now we're gonna work with the towel rack right there. So I'm gonna go with like gray and white. That's kind of like the theme for the bathroom. So I have these gray towels, a white towel with the little H on it. And ladies, tell me this. Do your husband take your decorative towels from off of the rack and use it to dry instead of going walk and getting the drying towel from out of the closet. If yours don't, mine do. Um, I even thought about putting some itching powder or something on these things. I bet he wouldn't use it then, <laughs> but I won't do that. All right, so next question. I am thinking of doing gray, gray, then overlaying with that white. Or should I put white under and then put gray on top? Let me know down in the comments what you feel like is best. I'll show you what I'm thinking and y'all let me know. Y'all know that H is for Hanson. So what are we thinking so far guys? Overall, this is the look we have with the picture and the tops. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're going to move down to the tub and get a little scrub and dub dub. So what's a spa bathroom without bam, a bath caddy? <laughs> I got this on Amazon for like 30 bucks I think it was. So it's expandable. I have a really wide tub here. Put it on that end. Put it right on over here. So now we need to fill this. This is cool because it has like this little soap dish here. You put a candle or something here. That's where your wine glass go. Um, if you have a book, you pull this up and read that. Uh, you can sit your phone here when you're watching it like this. I thought this was an excellent addition. What do you guys think? I wanted to kind of break up the darkness. So that's why I went with that natural wood color. So what do y'all think about that one? Should I have went gray? They have gray, they have a dark brown. They have a lot, what do you think? So before I kind of put things on that caddy, I'm going to place the things that I want around the tub because I have different candles that I need us to pick the right color to go on there. But I think that it's more important to put the things around it so we can see like how it all ties together. So one thing that I purchased to kind of go over by the tub are these storage containers here. They're like an iridescent looking color. I really like, I went with that wood color again. So like I said, they can all tie together. But we're gonna put some Epsom salt in this one. smells so good so the reason I didn't fill this all the way up is because I have this little wooden scooper here for you to scoop up some Epsom soap just like that isn't that cute so we'll just leave it in there like that put the top on and in this one let's take that off we're going to put us some bubble bag some Dr. Teal soothing sleep And we're going to place that. I was going to put it right here on this end, but because I have a dog that likes to sniff around, which if you've seen the last video, I thought I was about to lose my dog, y'all, but thank God he was okay. Thank you guys for your prayers. Yeah, if y'all want to watch that one, click up here. So we're going to put these further in the corner so he can't get to them. How do y'all like those? I think it's looking good. So what's the spot without some green? Nothing. I had a plant for the window. I don't know if I'm really sold on that. Don't really like it too much. So I had this little arrangement that I made myself sitting around kind of collecting dust. So we can either do this and put it over here. I'm not really feeling that though. I feel like it's too much going on and then I had stuck that stuff in there. So we also have the option of putting this thing here that I also bought from Home Goods in the window. So it's either that one there y'all or that one up there. I kind of don't like either of them to tell you the truth. Maybe I will um, not do either. That is giving me, I just went pulled some grass from out the backyard type of vibes and now it's growing in my window. So we have to figure this out y'all. Let me tell you one thing. <sighs> Decorating is attached y'all, but we will survive. So I bought this nice gray rug. I like the feel of it. Like I like that it kind of looks like it changed color. It looks magical like when you rub it, don't it? So we're going to place this just like that. So first things first, ladies and gentlemen, should I do this white candle here? I feel like it's too matchy matchy, although this like green color helps it a bit. Should I do this bad boy here? I think that kind of adds a little color to break everything up over here. What do you think? I really think that one is pretty. Drop it down in the comments. Tell me if you guys like this green or blue green, whatever that is, or if you like the white. Okay, so next we have this bath sponge here. I'm going to take these two towels here and roll them up and place them on here. Take it and roll. Oh Lord, I can't even roll, yo. Let's try that again. <laughs> even it out. Take it and roll. Roll, roll. Then sit that there. 
So this is how it looks rolled up. I'm doing his and hers, cause me and the hubby are in here. So I could sit it on top like that, not really feeling it. Maybe like that. What do you think? I'm really feeling like I need something green in here. I may have to just do with the grass in the window. But first, let's place our luxury spa pillow that I have here. It's nice. We're going to place that right there. Just like that. So I'm going to end up sitting a bar of soap in here. I have some Dove soap. That's what we use, Dove. Just sitting in here. And then this tray, you can move. I don't think I want it on the edge. This is what it looks like on that side. I think I prefer it on the other. Oh, what do you guys think? Should it be on this side? Or should I put it, or should I put it on that side? Let me know. Comment below. <sighs> All right guys, so I came up with a solution to our problem. That plant, the original one was too full in a white vase. So I pulled all that stuff out and just left this. I think that's it. I think that makes the difference. Whew, I'm feeling like I'm in a spa, y'all. Feeling like I'm in a spa. So I feel like the area needs something else. So I had this little candle holder here. I think I'm going to place it here. Let's get right, get right. What y'all think about the candle over there? I think that's nice. This is definitely not complete without the wine glass. So we're gonna slide that bad boy in there like such. Oh, do y'all see it? Do y'all see it? So the longest, hardest part of our makeover today, our transformation, was the bath area. So now we're gonna work on the counters. This shouldn't take that long, y'all, but let's get into it. So first, I'm going to start with these lovely things. Now, the builder put this doggone thing too close to this mirror. Ask me if I feel like moving it, no. I do not feel like doing more than we have to right now. I got these from Home Goods. No, they aren't sponsoring me, but they should be all this stuff that I'm using in this video. And we're going to place it in here. I kind of like to fan it open a bit. Something real simple. So the theme of the counter is his and hers. So I have this nice little plant here. See, it's giving me a better vibe than the grass thing that I had going on with the other one. And I like this because it's kind of mirrored here, but also like a wood type of feel, which gives that spa feel. So that's hers. Now we're going to do his right there. Do you see it guys? I'm really feeling it because I'm feeling like we won't have to do a lot to the counter just because of the simple fact of, I don't like clutter. A spa won't bring clutter to you. And um, I just feel like sometimes when you put a little bit too much here or there, it really kind of makes you just don't feel a peace and that's the main thing I said I wanted to bring was really peace and a calmness and get that like spa vibe so that's why we're not doing too much now I could have added the little grass looking thing over here let me show y'all it would kind of look like that I'm really just not feeling that grass product there <laughs> so out of the two that I just showed you which one do you like best I think I'm feeling this look a little bit more so now the last thing i'm really going to add to this area because i don't want to overdo it is these soap and lotion dispensers got these off of amazon so i was doing a lot of grays and white i wanted something to stand out look how that pops out against that y'all i'm just gonna sit that right there and i have a second one and we'll put them both kind of like right in the middle of that just like that. What y'all think? I'm really feeling it. That gold really kind of brings it all together, in my opinion. Are you guys feeling the same? Comment down below and let me know. So we're just going to take that top off like that. And we're going to take this top off of this one. I can't remember what ounce this is. This is like either a, I think it's a 16 ounce because this thing right here was about 12 ounces. So it still has some more room in there. All right guys, so that's not going to work putting that in here. I have to get creative and figure this out. I ended up making an absolute mess as you can see. 
yeah how many of you are bothered by this <laughs> i know i am <laughs> but it worked out so i'm just adding the top back to that beauty now i'm gonna sit the soap closer to my husband's side i don't have the labels yet i will wait i was waiting on them to come in from amazon i'm just gonna put soap and lotion on here just so we know what is what since it didn't come in yet i'm probably gonna go run a michael's and see if i can find some type of label so we can finish this up. So we are almost done with the counter. Um, I do have one more thing I wanna place up. Well, maybe two. Well, one, we'll see. I don't know, I told y'all I'm confused. But tell me what you think about this. So I have this Himalayan salt lamp here. I wanted to kind of just place in the corner here. So this is what it looks like when it's plugged up and it changes color. I think that's pretty cool, honestly. It changes a bunch of colors. Got that little salt look. But um, I kind of don't like this card just hanging here. I'll probably have to pin it up or do something with it. So I ended up removing the salt lamp from over here. It just didn't do enough for me. I had this candle and this clear vase here doing absolutely nothing. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to try to put it in this corner here. What do y'all think? Y'all think I should put it in the corner? And if I do, that's how it'll look. I think that looks nice, but to make it a little more spot feel, I can go ahead on and add some of these rocks to it. What y'all think? Let's see. Maybe place the candle in it like that. What do y'all think? Kinda make it even a little bit. What y'all think? If I do that and who is heavy now? And sit that over there. I think that does not look good. Like this is throwing me off now with the rest of the decor. So I'm thinking maybe just have it without the rocks. Comment down below, tell me rocks or no rocks guys. And again, this is the look with no rocks. I'm really feeling like no rocks is better. What y'all think? Look who joined us. Hey buddy, my baby's feeling better. You assisting mommy? We need some more help, dude. Thanks so much. Y'all tired? Y'all need a lunch break? You know, I did a video recently that said we need our breaks, okay? So if you need a lunch break, go ahead on pause, take your little 30 minute lunch break, and then um, come back. So I ran to Michaels and purchased these little stickers. I'm gonna go ahead on and put that on there. Oh, that's nice. And it got a little shimmer to it. Look at that, y'all. That's nice. So we're going to fix them up and then that's what it's looking like. What do y'all think? I think that's really nice. So we have come to the final area in the bathroom. I love this glass door for the shower. However, I wish it was all glass. Like we could have did away with that. We're going to probably widen this because the builder didn't make this wide enough. Like we could take this wall, push it back. Like what was the point of this? I don't know. but. We didn't even need that, like we could close that in. But anyway, I have another one of these and we're gonna add it right in front of the shower. Just like that. So we're gonna just smooth that out there. Smooth it on out, smooth it on out. So I think that's a perfect fit. Couldn't have gotten any better than that. So another thing that's going in the shower, I have these candle holders here. However, it won't be candles. We're going to remove these off of there. Spread that out like such. And a boat. I have some extra rocks. Pour a few. We're gonna take us another bar of dove soap and we're just going to place it like that. I think that looks nice. What do you guys think? Yay or nay for the for the soap dish? So we're gonna take it and place it right in the center. What do you think? <laughs> Why are you looking at this like this, dude? Why are you staring at us like that? So we have this little speaker here that we're going to place in the shower because like who wouldn't want to listen to music while they're showering, right? And that came from five below. Forget how much, five bucks. <laughs> 
you can't beat it so one of the things i'm going to do in this shower is change this shower head it's very little it is so limited it doesn't do much like i really dislike this thing look at that it um this is what came with the house we had our home built we didn't have options in it we just had to pick a plan i just need my wrench i don't know where i put oh there it is <laughs> i'm crazy so uh oh maybe it's this tape here let's see if i take that off it might come off oh i'm getting wet lord all right all right so it's just not cooperating with me but i gotta fix to that i'll let my husband do it okay now sometimes even if you can't do it you just need to let your man feel special make him feel like you really need him so we're gonna let we're gonna call we're gonna call big cal to the rescue all right now another thing i grabbed from michael's are these three little leaves here they were 2.99 a piece and i also have this clear vase i just felt like the bath area needed a little bit more tlc we're gonna see if that works why y'all didn't tell me this was on the edge oh that would not have been nice and then we're going to place it in here just like that kind of open them up a bit i also got these from michael's i can't remember how much these were So what I plan on doing is moving this on over to this side and then we'll put this on uh, over there like that. Thoughts, what are your thoughts? <sighs> I'm not 100% loving it, what do you guys think? I don't know. Let's try it in the window maybe. kind of nice maybe i don't know y'all what y'all think all right guys i think i'm going to keep it in the corner right there i think that's really nice what do you think and i also put the candle back in the corner there i bought these beautiful pink flowers from michael's for 6.99 i think yep so i'm going to add this to the bath caddy now i could like just add it there and kind of oh that's pretty y'all what y'all think or i could just put the ends of it in there let's see so i took the stem off and then i was thinking like maybe oop, i'm throwing it in the tub maybe sit it kind of like what y'all think give me your thoughts give me your thoughts i think it's pretty maybe i'll add a few of these leaves in it too maybe i think that helps a bit guys what do y'all think i think that helps a lot <laughs> all right guys so kelvin is here to save the day once again I knew he'd be able to get the job done, y'all. Ain't that right, baby? Yep, yep. Yes, indeed. <laughs> get it done, huh? All right, so we got this adjustable head on there. Now we're going to go ahead on and put the, the shower head on. All right, thanks to Kelvin, we have our rainfall shower head now. Look at that. And it has seven settings. And then one good thing, if we don't want to do the rainfall, we just adjust it like that. Put it back up. That's pretty cool. <sighs> All right, guys, we're finally done, and this is what the final product looked like.
so thanks so much for helping me guys i am really looking down in the comments to see what your suggestions are i really appreciate each and every one of you we got so many more great things coming so if you have not subscribed go ahead hit that button and join the family because you know we go everywhere in life together and all we do is win other than that see you next time we are out peace <laughs>